Beneath our feet lie tales of entire worlds forgotten by time. From Malta's enigmatic hypogeum to Turkey's sprawling subterranean cities and China's mysterious Longyu caves, our ancestors carved out more than just shelters. They crafted stories in stone. As we delve into these ancient underground marvels, prepare to uncover secrets buried deep, where every chamber whispers legends and every corridor echoes with history's footsteps. The hypogeum of Hal Safliani, located on the sun-soaked island of Malta, is a marvel that intertwines history, mystery and architecture. As the only known prehistoric underground temple in the world, its allure extends far beyond its subterranean nature. Delving into this fascinating structure, one can't help but be struck by its age. Dating back to around 4000, 2500 BCE, this structure predates the famous pyramids of Egypt, which gives us a sense of the age and significance of this site. Constructed across three levels and descending to a depth of more than 10 meters, the hypogeum was chiseled meticulously out of the soft limestone that underpins much of Malta's terrain. What's striking is the sheer dedication and effort it must have taken. Picture this, ancient builders, with rudimentary tools, intricately carving out spaces in complete harmony with the Earth's contours, ensuring structural stability while crafting vast chambers and corridors. It's a testament to human capability and determination. But it wasn't merely an architectural project. The Hippogeum's primary purpose was spiritual. Serving as both a sanctuary and a necropolis, it was a sacred space where the living communed with the departed, over 7,000 human remains have been discovered within its chambers, suggesting that it played a significant role in the burial rituals of the Maltese temple period. And here's where it gets even more intriguing. Among the remains, archaeologists discovered unique spiral-carved patterns and intricate red ochre paintings. These art pieces hint at a rich tapestry of beliefs, possibly linked to the cycle of life and death or the celestial movements. One of the most fascinating chambers within the Hypogeum is the Oracle Chamber. This chamber possesses unique acoustic properties. A word uttered softly within its confines resonates and amplifies throughout the entire complex. Some believe this was purposefully designed to evoke a sense of the supernatural, where the voices of priests or oracles would boom mystically, reverberating with divine intensity. Amidst these wonders lies the Holy of Holies, a chamber showcasing a detailed reproduction of the exterior of a megalithic temple. This mimicking of external temple architecture in an underground environment raises questions about the cultural and spiritual practices of the temple builders. Were they replicating the above-ground temples as a symbolic gesture, or was it an attempt to merge the worlds of the living and the departed? Though the Hippogeum is a treasure trove of history and culture, much about it remains shrouded in mystery. Numerous questions persist about its builders, their lives, their spiritual beliefs, and the societal significance of this grand subterranean temple. And as we delve deeper into its chambers, we realize that the Hypogeum is not just an ancient relic. It's a doorway, beckoning us to step in and journey through millennia of human endeavor, belief, and ingenuity. Nestled within the historical region of Cappadocia in Turkey, there's an underground marvel that redefines our understanding of ancient human settlements the subterranean city of Derinkuyu. Unlike any conventional city, Derinkuyu challenges the vertical dimension, plunging deep into the heart of the earth rather than sprawling across its surface. Imagine, if you will, a vast underground network, complete with tunnels, chambers and vents, all meticulously carved out of the soft volcanic rock that characterizes Cappadocia's landscape. This is no mere underground hideaway. Derinkuyu is an intricate city that spans an astounding eight levels deep. Its depth and complexity make it one of the largest underground settlements ever discovered. But why go underground? The initial reasons were practical. Cappadocia's unique geological formations known as fairy chimneys were naturally soft and easy to carve. Over time, as external threats from invaders became more prevalent, these underground havens offered the local population a secure refuge. The entrance doors, massive stone discs, could only be opened or closed from the inside, providing an effective defense mechanism against any intruders. Within this subterranean wonder, one discovers a city teeming with life's essentials. There are living quarters, stables for livestock, storage rooms, wine cellars, and even religious chambers, including churches with impressive frescoes that have withstood the test of time. 
air and light are facilitated by strategically placed ventilation shafts, ensuring that even at its deepest levels, the city remained breathable and livable. A particularly intriguing feature of Derinkuyu is its sophisticated water system. Wells were not connected to the surface to prevent poisoning by any potential invaders. This means that the inhabitants had fresh water, even when under siege, enhancing the city's self-sufficiency. Moreover, the city was connected to other underground cities in the region through miles of tunnels, which hints at a level of cooperation and possibly a complex trade network between these subterranean settlements. But who were the masterminds behind this impressive city? While the earliest known mention of Derinkuyu is in ancient Greek texts, it's believed that the Hittites, an ancient Anatolian people, began its construction in the 8th century BCE. Over centuries, as various empires and groups, including the Phrygians, Persians, and early Christians, took residence in the region, they expanded and enhanced the city. Derinkuyu isn't just a marvel of ancient engineering, it's a testament to human adaptability. It challenges our contemporary notions of what a city should be and highlights the ingenuity of ancient civilizations in ensuring survival amidst external threats. As we walk its dimly lit corridors, the echoes of the past reverberate, reminding us of the lengths humanity can go to preserve and protect its own. In the serene village landscape of Longyu, Zhejiang province in China, lies an intricate puzzle that has both amazed and baffled researchers for decades, the Long Yu Caves. These caves, unlike any typical natural caverns, are a testament to human determination, precision, and ingenuity. Discovered quite by accident in 1992 by local villagers, these caves were initially assumed to be an ancient quarry. But as the waters were drained and further exploration was conducted, the sheer enormity and complexity of these hand-carved caves began to emerge. Today, 24 caves have been uncovered, though there's speculation that many more might be hidden beneath the surface. Each of the discovered caves is massive, averaging about 1,000 square meters in size with heights reaching up to 30 meters. Now, what's truly remarkable about these caves isn't just their size, but the precision with which they've been carved. The walls, ceilings and pillars are uniformly leveled, with differences in height as minute as a single millimeter. This suggests that the architects behind these caverns had an acute sense of detail and access to sophisticated tools and techniques. Adding to their intrigue, the walls of the Longyu Caves are covered with intricate carvings and chisel marks, which are so uniform they give the impression of being molded by machines. Yet these caves are believed to date back to at least 2,000 years, making the existence of such machinery an impossibility by our current understanding. The mystery deepens when we consider the sheer volume of rock that had to be removed to create these caverns. Estimates suggest that over a million cubic meters of rock were excavated. Where did all this material go? There's no evidence of such vast amounts of debris in the surrounding areas. Another puzzle is the purpose behind these caves. While many ancient underground sites around the world served as tombs, religious sites or shelters, the Longyu Caves don't seem to fit any of these categories. There are no historical records, inscriptions or artifacts that provide a definitive answer. Waterproofing is another impressive feature of the Longyu Caves. The walls have been treated with a special mixture, giving them a glossy appearance and ensuring that they're impermeable. This is a significant technological feat considering the age of these structures. As for who built them, that remains one of the greatest enigmas surrounding the Longyu Caves. While some theories suggest they might be the work of an ancient Chinese dynasty, there's no conclusive evidence to pin it on any specific group. The caves don't fit seamlessly into the architectural style or techniques of any known civilization from the region. The Longyu Caves challenge our perceptions of ancient civilizations and their capabilities. With every chiseled mark and perfectly aligned pillar, they pose questions about the knowledge and techniques of our ancestors. As we continue to explore and decipher their mysteries, these caves stand as silent sentinels of a past that's waiting to be fully understood. Tucked away in the region of Cappadocia, Turkey, lies one of the most incredible architectural wonders, the underground city of Kaimakli. While Cappadocia is already renowned for its unique rock formations and fairy chimneys, Kaimakli adds another dimension, quite literally, by plunging into the depths of the earth. The first striking feature of Kaimakli is its vastness. This ancient underground city spreads across eight floors, although only a few are open to the public. 
Originally carved out of the soft volcanic rock, the city's tunnels, chambers and air shafts form an intricate labyrinth, showcasing the advanced understanding of construction and design by its ancient builders. While many might question the purpose of constructing such a massive subterranean space, it's believed that Kaimakli primarily served as a refuge during invasions and wars. The region's history is punctuated with frequent invasions, from the Hittites to the Persians and the underground cities like Kaimakli, provided the local population with a place to hide, live, and even conduct daily activities away from prying eyes. The design of Kaimakli is both functional and strategic. Heavy stone doors could seal off corridors, making it difficult for invaders to penetrate deep into the city. Additionally, the numerous tunnels connecting different parts of the city would allow inhabitants to move freely, access resources and communicate without being detected. Beyond just tunnels and chambers, Kaimakli was equipped with all the amenities needed to support life for extended periods. There are living quarters, stables for livestock, wine and oil presses, storage rooms and even a church. Remarkably, the city also features ventilation shafts and water wells, ensuring fresh air and water supply for its inhabitants. These features highlight how the designers of Kaimakli not only focused on immediate protection, but also on long-term sustainability. Another fascinating aspect is the presence of communal spaces. These suggest that Kaimakli was more than just a hideout. It was a place where communities could gather, practice their faith and conduct ceremonies, the presence of religious spaces, particularly churches, also points to the Christian community that once took refuge here, especially during the Arab-Byzantine Wars. While the history of Kaimakli and its exact timeline remain subjects of research and debate, it's undeniable that the city stands as a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. It demonstrates how, faced with external threats, communities can come together to create incredible solutions that stand the test of time. Walking through the dimly lit corridors of Kaimakli, one can't help but be transported back in time, imagining the whispers of ancient inhabitants, the soft glow of oil lamps, and the profound sense of community that this subterranean marvel fostered. The Grand Canyon, spanning 277 miles and plunging over a mile deep, is not just a geographical wonder. Its layers of rock unveil Earth's history, stretching back nearly two billion years. As the Colorado River wove its course, eroding the plateau, it exposed the very chapters of our planet's timeline, layer by layer. But what if there's more to this wonder than meets the eye? What if nestled in its rock formations and hidden caves lie secrets of ancient civilizations? The vastness of the Grand Canyon is not just an emblem of nature's grandeur, but it also echoes with whispers from a bygone era. In 1909, an intriguing article surfaced in the Arizona Gazette. This piece of news, sensational at its core, described an archaeological expedition that reportedly had ties to the prestigious Smithsonian Institute. The claims? Within the heart of the Grand Canyon, remnants of ancient civilizations were found, ones that bore uncanny resemblances to Oriental and perhaps even Egyptian cultures. The Gazette detailed how the explorers had stumbled upon a labyrinth of tunnels and caves, many of which harbored fascinating artifacts. Among the finds were tools, weapons, and decorative items that seemed out of place considering the geographical location and the known history of the area. More astonishingly, there were claims of hieroglyphics akin to those of ancient Egypt etched onto the cave walls. The crown jewel of this discovery was the alleged find of mummies, which, if true, would have redefined our understanding of ancient transcontinental interactions. As the news spread, it captured the imagination of many. The thought that the Grand Canyon, already a marvel in its own right, could be the gateway to a forgotten chapter of human history, was tantalizing. Here was an implication that there might have been a mingling of civilizations, suggesting unknown trade routes or explorations that connected continents in antiquity. However, while the tale was rich in detail, corroborative evidence was scant. The Arizona Gazette was the sole publisher of this incredible find with no follow-up stories or additional corroborations coming forth. Furthermore, inquiries to the Smithsonian Institute found that they had no record of the expedition, casting further doubt on the newspaper's claims. This lack of concrete evidence and the ensuing silence led many to dismiss the story as a creative, if not audacious, hoax. Yet, even as a piece of folklore or local legend, the story underscores humanity's innate desire to seek out mysteries and, perhaps, to hope that there's more to known landmarks than what's visible on the surface.
Deep within the shadows of the Grand Canyon's towering walls lies a network of caves and crevices that have been carved out over millions of years. These aren't just geological wonders, but possibly repositories of ancient mysteries. Throughout history, humans have shown an innate tendency to seek shelter in caves, not just as a refuge from the elements, but also as a space for contemplation, artistry, and preservation of culture. In this context, could the caves of the Grand Canyon hold clues about past civilizations? Some enthusiasts and amateur archaeologists have speculated about the possibility of finding artifacts hidden within these caverns. The canyon, with its labyrinthine twists and turns, presents a treasure trove of potential spots where ancient people might have stashed their belongings, either for ritualistic purposes or simply for safekeeping. Reports have occasionally surfaced, talking about unusual artifacts unearthed in or around the area. From intricately designed pottery shards to tools that seem anachronistic given the known Native American history of the region, these discoveries fuel the argument for a more complex story waiting to be unraveled. A few narratives even suggest the existence of metallic objects, hinting at a sophisticated metallurgical knowledge that might have been way ahead of its time. Local Native American legends also hint at their ancestors having had a deeper connection to the canyon's caves. Tales passed down through generations speak of sacred rituals performed in the heart of these caverns and of hidden chambers filled with symbols and petroglyphs. Some tribes consider certain caves within the canyon to be spiritual places where the veil between the physical and spiritual world is thin. The recurring tales and finds suggest there's more to be explored. The mere possibility of unearthing an artifact that could redefine history ignites the adventurer in many. But for now, these secrets remain guarded by the timeless walls of the Grand Canyon, challenging us to look deeper, question further, and explore with an open mind. The Grand Canyon isn't just a marvel of geology. It is also a sacred and deeply significant space for the Native American tribes that have resided in its vicinity for countless generations. Their stories, passed down orally through the ages, serve not only as a testament to their rich history and connection with the land, but also hint at a deeper understanding of the canyon's enigmatic past. The Hopi, one of the Native American tribes associated with the Grand Canyon, have a profound spiritual connection to this vast chasm. For them, the Grand Canyon is more than just a geographical landmark. It is the Sipapuni, the place of emergence where their ancestors entered this world from another. This lore suggests that the canyon is not just a place of past significance, but is intrinsically linked to the Hopi's understanding of life, death, and the transition between worlds. Then there's the Zuni tribe, whose ancestral memories speak of a time when their people lived inside the Grand Canyon. They describe vast underground citadels, spiritual places of worship, and the echoes of ceremonies that resonate with the winds of the canyon. Such tales, while not supported by mainstream archaeology, provide a fascinating window into how the canyon is perceived, not as a mere tourist attraction, but as the very soul of a people. The Navajo, known as Dine, have their own tales interwoven with the canyon's vast stretches. They view the Grand Canyon as a sacred place, filled with the spirits of warriors, animals, and deities. The echoing calls of the canyon winds are, to them, the voices of these spirits communicating with the living. Various points within the canyon are used for rites and ceremonies, and it's believed that disturbing these areas can bring about misfortune. Furthermore, petroglyphs and pictographs found scattered across secluded parts of the canyon serve as silent testimonies to its ancient inhabitants. These rock carvings, some dated to be thousands of years old, depict scenes from daily life, spiritual visions, and perhaps even celestial events showcasing the deep cosmic connection these tribes felt. The allure of the Grand Canyon doesn't merely reside in its majestic views, but also in the secrets it holds deep within its layers. Modern excavations within the canyon are testament to humanity's insatiable curiosity. With every expedition, geologists, archaeologists, and historians delve deeper into the canyon hoping to glean insights into our planet's past and the ancient civilizations that might have once called the region home. Contrary to popular belief, modern exploration doesn't just rely on pickaxes and brushes. Advanced technologies like ground-penetrating radar and lidar, light detection and ranging, 
are being deployed to peer beneath the surface and uncover hidden structures or artifacts. These tools can detect inconsistencies or abnormalities below the ground, hinting at potential sites of interest without even making a scratch on the surface. Recent excavations have unearthed fascinating finds, from ancient tools and pottery fragments to previously undiscovered rock art, all painting a vivid picture of the canyon's ancient inhabitants. These discoveries offer tantalizing glimpses into the lives, cultures, and traditions of the people who lived in and around the canyon long before it became a modern tourist attraction. Despite all the progress and revelations, a significant portion of the Grand Canyon remains unexplored and untouched. Its vastness and challenging terrain ensure that there are still many hidden enigmas waiting to be discovered. With every uncovered artifact or structure, a new chapter in the canyon's rich tapestry of history is revealed, hinting at even more profound insights yet to be unearthed. As we look to the future, the Grand Canyon promises even more mysteries to be unraveled. With the advancement in technology and increasing interest in the site's historical significance, the next generation of explorers is set to journey deeper and farther into the canyon. And as they do, they'll not only be discovering the canyon's secrets, but also connecting more profoundly with the echoes of ancient civilizations and the grand narrative of our planet. The walls of the Grand Canyon aren't just bare rocks. Here and there, scattered often in secluded nooks are pictographs and petroglyphs, the silent whispers of those who came before us. These ancient rock arts are like pages from a diary, narrating stories, beliefs and daily lives of ancient peoples. The petroglyphs etched onto the rock surfaces and the pictographs painted using natural dyes often present patterns and symbols. Some might show animals native to the region, while others depict human figures in various stances. Certain symbols might seem ritualistic or spiritual, hinting at religious or ceremonial practices. For indigenous communities, these artworks are not just historical artifacts, they are a living connection to their ancestors, an unbroken thread linking them to the very land they inhabit. Every line, every dot, every shade is a testament to their deep bond with the canyon, its challenges and its bounties. As time progresses, many of these artworks are at risk due to natural erosion and, unfortunately, human intervention. They are invaluable not just as art, but as records. They provide insights into the cultures, beliefs, and perhaps even the thoughts and feelings of people from millennia past. These silent historians serve as a bridge, allowing us, if only for a moment, to traverse time and connect with ancient souls. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video today.